took my spirit away. He took my spirit away.
And when somebody is grieving in such a condition as this, losing mother, grandmother, sister, uh, aunt, uh, great grandmother, and uh, you name it, aunties, and you name it, it is not easy to cope with. More so, we also as a church family, we are grieving the loss of a dear mother. Mother Mino was been a part of our church for from I, uh, I think about 1984 when she got baptized into this church. For she and her husband and becomes a part of the family of Jesus Christ. And I know it is very sad for us to lose her because she was a precious soul, a wonderful woman, a woman that is always excited. Amen. When she meets you, she always has this happy greeting. She was always loving. Amen. For those who don't know her, but to me, I have proven Mother Miller to be a very loving and excited person. Whenever she sees us, she would always want to greet us with a happy greeting, a very warm, spiritual person. And today, the Lord has seen him fit to take her home. And we know that her soul is resting in the hands of us, dear Savior. I just want to say to the family, we're grieving. Amen. Don't grieve as if she doesn't have hope. But I will just say to you, you've got to be prepared to meet her. Because she has gone on before you. She has gone home to rest with her Lord. Amen. And if ever you want to see her again, you too will have to walk the way that she has walked. The part that she has taken so that you can be joined with her. Again, I just want to encourage the family just to be strong and be courageous. Because it is not how will, but it is his will. And it will not be done in her as it is in heaven. He has given us a set time. And when your role is called, you got to go. When the role is called at school, you say present if you are present. And if you are not present, then absent will be there. So if you are not present with the Lord. Today, may God bless you. And may God keep your heart standing back. Really, indeed, we are really struggling. I'm telling you right now, I'm standing here. And uh, I am not the best in health. Uh, this flu is going around and it is a bother to everybody, right? Most of our church family um, are suffering a great deal of flu right now. And um, it is, don't, I, I, I don't want you to be terrified because maybe you're saying that I'm hoping. No, <laughs> no, I don't have COVID. I got the vaccine, but you know, the flu attacks. And it is what is going around and it's not in my spine. So you can hear my voice that's so beautiful. But however, today we want to magnify the Lord. The writer said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Let me praise him, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. If there is a musician on the outside, I would ask you kindly to come and help me play because basically sometimes it's kind of hard to moderate and play. Amen. But if not, um, we are going to begin and I'm going to have a very good volunteer church singer just to come along and you know, sing the whole song while I do the playing because I'm going to show you what it is. The song that we will be singing, Precious Memories of the Linger. If there's a good volunteer singer, Church singer, you can come, or if not, if there's a player, you can come. Amen. And we're going to join together in singing the song.
now the day we awoke from their sleep. The word of God and the same. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Amen. At this time, we will be singing, the group will be singing a selection in Jesus' name. Let us bless the Lord one more time. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.
Can we just lift our hands and praise Him? The second lesson comes to us from 1 Corinthians, reading verses 15, verses 15, verses 51 to 58. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall rise in corporate and we shall be changed. For this for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall put on in, in, in corruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall we brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is followed up in victory. O death, where is thy sin? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmoved, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you very much for leaving. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. You know, we just have the music time to come here. Praise God. And um, we want to go straight into the program. But we will be having a few choices that is not on the program. A few days will fall that come out of the program. 
And when I don't hear from my brother and his family, we call them on the telephone and each one of them glad to hear your voice. And sometimes just the voice of one another cheer up the other. So it is good to know that there were people who seek the Lord in time. As far as I understand, I know. I'm here at this church for the second time. But I know that there are people who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Solomon tells us in Ecclesiastes 12 that we must remember our Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come now. What is the evil days that Solomon, the wise man in his time, the wisest man, talk about? He's talking about when our eyes are blind, our ears are dead, and our teeth fall out, and our limbs get weak, and we are getting ready because we said our head get break. and our back gets stiff and we are afraid for height or noise. When we are young, we can jump around. We can visit our friends. And some of us spend much time praising other guys. But some of us warned us that we should remember our Creator. When we are young, we are strong and healthy. Who give us the strength? God Almighty. So today, for the young one family, I don't know how much of you are giving your life to God. But as your mother and father has done, I will recommend to you that you walk in their footsteps. Remember your creator, Sister Ben and Dorothy, is missing from the family. And we are grateful for them. But the preacher tells us in First Chronicle, I believe it is something that I read this morning for Somewhere it says, we must not be ignorant. Because, why? Because one of these days, the Lord shall descend from heaven. And he's going to call his faithful people. This is why. And your spirit is still alive in Christ, you're going to raise up to meet him in the air. And what a day that will be when we rejoin our deceased family. Because the Bible tells us that we will know each other and we will talk together. And I always dream of the tree of life that I'm told by the Bible that will be in the garden. And they will march down the aisle by the riverside, drinking from the pure, clean water, flowing from the throne of God, from the tree of life. And that will be glorious life. 
So until then, we love it. Be faithful. Family, I'm asking you to be cheerful. Love one another. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do what is right in the sight of God Almighty. And then today, a reckoning is come. We want this fight because there is a word in the Bible that says, Blessed are they that keep my commandments, that they may have right to the chair of life and enter through the gate of the city. And I believe all of us here would like to be in that city. It would be a glorious time if we are to be here.
Praise the name of Jesus.
because I know she has gone on before us. She has gone to a better place. I could remember she coming to church. There was no work hard for Sister Miller to do. No work. Every time something coming up in the church, she would be there. If it's support, she would be there. I can remember she sitting right over here when she's trying to give her testimony. She loved this song that say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. May her soul rest in peace and life perpetual on her side. I just want to just encourage the family members, no matter what you're going through, God will see you through. I'm just going to sing this song just to encourage your soul in Jesus' name.
and all our families. And the day when she leave us, it was so heartbreaking. She leave us in tears. But the things I know that God is going to take care of my mom. The angel took her home. And she has nothing to worry about. It's who leave behind. Have it to take care of. And you have to work it out for yourself. When the Lord calls us, we got to answer to a calling. And the day of judgment, we shall stand before him. Yes. So um, my sister, I always encourage my sister, get back yourself in God. And she always said to me, yes, ma'am. I said, don't let it be too late. But the final, the final moment, the Lord take her home. But the thing I know that if our soul is right with the Lord, there is nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. And that's all I have to say. Sleep on my sister. Sleep on my mom. And God will take care of you. I love you, man. I love you, my mother. I love you. And I love you, my sister. And I know that God loves you more. I love you, my sister. I love my mother. Because in the midnight, when I'm feeling down, I can depend on my mother. She always called. On a stiani grave. On a heart right. Remember the bad place. When I pray, you know, I pray, you know, keep on praying. And I always return and say to her, my mother, I put myself in your hands of God four years ago. And I'm so glad.
Thank you. 